What's good? It's your boy at A, and today we're doing a reaction video to the It Is What It Is podcast. It Is What It Is is one of the best sports shows out there. I mean, it's just one of the best shows, period. And today we're going to discuss, we're going to react on how Cameron hates to lose in basketball, how he holds grudges in basketball, how at the end of the day, at 40 years old, I'm the same way. I don't like losing in pickup basketball, league game basketballs, any of that stuff. And how he also talks about how he be holding animosity, ready to fight and all of that stuff. I ain't going to take it that far, but I will say that if a dude busts my butt, oh yeah, I might be holding a little animosity and I might have to go at him the next time I see him. So watch me react to this video. Damn for Sebastian, but Skip, let me tell you something. He told, I'm pretty sure you saw the episode, right? Skip started Aaron one, right? I'm talking about started that shit, the sneakers. They called call mm -hmm. Skip to my loop. He even referred to the fact that nobody even knew Skip. We, were, we called him Rafe. And yeah. he, he went overseas. He went to Fresno State. He played in the NBA 11 years. He's coached kids. His basketball uh, legacy and credibility and games are just... Out of control, out of control, bro. I'm talking about you don't, you don't, you don't do high school, you don't do junior college, you don't do college, you don't do the NBA, you don't do overseas. And you know what this nigga said, Mace? He said it was a time in 1991 and 92 we went to a tournament in UDC and played against Cam and Mace, and niggas tried to fight me <laughs> on the court and threw the ball at me, and we was busting their ass. He remembers that, but that's the point I'm trying to tell you. All this basketball knowledge and games and years and years and years in the NBA and so on and so forth, he still remembers us having a problem with with each other because that's because as much like he said, we spend the night, Skip, Skip comes spend the night at her house, my house. We all hang out with each other. When we get on the court, I don't fuck with you, bro. And if you beat me, pause. Yeah. I don't fuck with you after until I calm down after. I'm the same way. We could be friends off the court. That's great. You could come to my house. We could do happy hour. Your kids could play with my kids. All of that. But when we are on the court, it's not personal. It's just business. I'm going to be going at you. I'm going to be talking to you crazy. I'm going to be going at your neck. And anyone that's going to be in these comment sections can vouch. I talk a lot of trash on the basketball court, and I do try to back it up. If anything, I'm going to back it up with regards to effort. But there's been so many people who I'm cool with off the court, but on the court, they hate my guts, especially if I'm going at them. And I'm the same way. I'm going at you on that basketball court. So I feel Cam. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, Oh, yeah, I got enemies from a long time ago just for me busting their ass on the basketball court and me talking my trash. So, you know, I feel them. And I've been the other way. It's people who it might take me a day or two just to calm down because I still remember that butt kicking that I received from them. And any real hooper feels the same way. Two days. And Skip said this. Yeah. All the basketball knowledge and travels he's been through, he remembers that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Imagine he said he and look, Mace, I argue with the nigga. I don't remember that. I don't. Yeah. I remember busting yeah, ass. I, I, I don't remember ever leave, losing a race. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. And I that, remember I was guarding him. Remember, and his coach, his coach got mad because he couldn't get the ball over half court. Remember, he said he's holding me. With defensive yeah. specialist pause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but the point being is. When I was talking to him, I felt his attitude about it. Imagine coming yeah, up. Imagine, like he would, yeah. Imagine. Nigga. He was definitely not bowing, pausing nobody. Yeah. And, and I don't care if they're hey, McDonald's. They got to show me, champ. I don't read the paper like that. I don't. I'm the same way. A lot of times what I see, especially with this younger generation, if someone says they play D1, if someone says they play pro, they play pro, guess what happens? People who might be just as good as them, but they just never made it pro or never made it to D1, they start to cower down. And I'm the exact opposite. If you play pro, you have to prove it to me. You're going to have to bust my ass and make me be like, all right, yeah, you play pro. 
Because a lot of times, a lot of these dudes be cowering down just because they see the name. At the end of the day, I'm going to play hard and go at you the best of my ability. I don't care what your credentials are. I don't care if you play pro or not. And like I said, check the comment section. Everybody who I play with on a regular basis can vouch. I'm going to talk my trash. I'm going to go at you. That's one thing about me. I'm always going to be playing hard. So if you're always playing hard, it don't matter. It don't matter if the person's pro. Give it your best. So a lot of times with this younger generation, don't be scared because somebody got a credential. Somebody said they played pro. Somebody played D1. It don't matter. We're on the same basketball court now, so go at them. So like May said, I don't read the papers. I can't read. Yeah, So and this is 30, 35 years later, and niggas is still on that type of time. So when she tells me or what the quote that she read, I should say, Oh, you the best champ. I wish I slapped the shit. Yo, you beat me 41 points on me and come up to be like, nah, you that nigga. Yo, I'm like, I'm gonna snuff you. Get and what he's doing, he's talking about Joel MD and um Nick uh, Joker, the, the white guy that plays for Denver. Joel scored 40 points on him, beat his team, but he still went to Joker and said, you're the best player. To me, if I bust somebody's ass, I'm going to be good. like, yo, I'm the best player. I'm going to be talking my trash. But like I said, with this today's NBA, with this generation, things are a little different. We live in a generation where people still get participation trophies. So I kind of understand. But me... Don't let me have a good game on you because I'm going to talk my trash. Even if I know you're better than me, I'm going to still talk my trash. Yo, yo, my name, don't do that to me, B, because now you're being slick. Now you being slick. <laughs> yeah, you remember we playing basketball. We beat niggas. They try to jump me at the bus. Yeah, Niggas yeah. is not going for that. Yeah, man. We need to win the game on the fight. Right, exactly. Or both. And just to add more context yeah. to that, because this, I think it, I agree with you and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching Professional Development of Ade. I do professional development from an auditing standpoint, but I do so much more. That's why I changed the name from professional from auditing with Ade to professional development with Ade. Because the information that I have that you guys have, we can all learn from it. I'm just giving it to you from an auditor standpoint. And I love sports. So I'm always going to tie in sports news. To professional development. Thanks for watching.